For this next section, we are working on real-world problems involving absolute value. Take a look at this number line. So we have sea level here at the, it's sort of near the bottom of the number line, and sea level is where the ocean meets the sky. And then I want you to notice that we're going up on this number line by four. So we're at four, then eight, then 12, then 16, then 20, then 24. And then as you go below zero, you can see that the base of the dock is at negative four feet. And then we're at negative eight feet and next would be negative 12 feet. So this problem reads, this home is about 24 feet above sea level. So here's the top of the home and it's about 24 feet above sea level. The base of the dock is at negative four feet, so four feet below sea level. So there's the base of the dock. And now we need to do our absolute value comparison and write our sentence because it, it's asking us in this question, which is further from sea level? So we're supposed to record this problem as an absolute value comparison, and then we're supposed to answer the question using a full sentence. So let's go ahead and start with our absolute value comparison. So the absolute value of 24, that represents the height of the home above sea level. And then we're comparing this to the absolute value of negative four. So that represents the distance between the base of the dock and sea level and then we're going to make our comparison. So the absolute value of, of 24 is 24, and the absolute value of negative four is four, and the symbol we need is the greater than symbol because 24 is greater than four. And now I'm ready to type my sentence. So I'm gonna say that since 24 is greater than four, we know that the top of the home is further from sea level than the base of the dock. And I hope that you can see that in the picture too, that the, the base of the dock is pretty close to sea level, so it's not that far away, but the top of the home is pretty far from sea level. So the top of the home is further from sea level than the base of the dock. All right, let's look at our next example. In our next example, we're talking about debt. Debt is when you owe money. So in this example, it says, Lakeisha has a mortgage. So a mortgage you need to understand is a loan used to purchase a home. So usually people don't have enough money to purchase a home. And what they do is they go to a bank and they borrow money from the bank. So they take out a loan. And that loan is called a mortgage when it's a loan for a house. And so currently, Lakeisha says she still owes the bank $72,900. And then we have another person we're talking about, Eddie. Eddie has a mortgage as well and currently owes the bank $85,000. So we are being asked who has a greater debt. So Lakeisha's debt is negative $72,900. Eddie's debt is negative $85,000. So we're going to start with our absolute value comparison. We're going to be comparing the absolute value of negative $72,900, and we'll compare that to the absolute value of negative $85,000. So the absolute value of negative 72,900 is 72,900. Remember, absolute value is just distance from zero. And then the absolute value of negative 85,000 is 85,000. And so Lakeisha's debt, $72,900, is less than Eddie's debt, which is $85,000. So now let me go ahead and record my sentence. So I'll say that Lake. well, actually the question says who has a greater debt. So I'm gonna actually start by typing the name Eddie. Eddie, has a greater greater debt than Lakeisha since he owes $85,000 and Lakeisha owes just $72,900.
$72,900. And let me go ahead and add that, that dollar sign as well as we're comparing those two debts. And now that I've written my absolute value number comparison, and I have my sentence, I have completed this story problem.